In this video, I'm going to show you a really fun technique that I learned for how to shorten a piece of music. And that's, of course, very handy when you want to make a piece of soundtrack music match the running time of a piece of video. So here I've got a piece of music that runs a little over three minutes long. And what if I just want a little stinger, a little tiny bit of it from the beginning? Let's listen to the beginning and I'm going to blow it up a little first and find a spot where we think we can end the piece of music. I'm thinking that I want to end it actually right about there, about eight seconds in. And that's the phrase I'm going to end it on where it goes down. Okay, so first what I want to do is isolate that section of the music, that little phrase. So I'm going to go to my razor tool and slice at the beginning and right at the end of that, go back to my arrow tool and then delete the last part of the song. Now, we could just fade it out here, but that, you know, that's kind of wimpy, or we could have it just cut off, but that would be really awkward sounding, right? That's kind of sudden. What I would like to do is add some reverb to this so that this note will kind of trail out with reverb. And it's easy to add reverb to any piece of music or any clip, but the problem is that the reverb ends as soon as the clip ends. So what we need to do is add reverb so that it continues even after the music stops. And here's how you do that. First, you have to put the clip onto a separate track that has nothing else on it. So I'm going to just grab this and drag it downward to create a audio to track and I'm going to expand that so I can see it better and now we have to add reverb to not the clip but to the track and there's a special technique for doing that and I'm going to then go up to window and go down to audio track mixer you see that and select sequence one Okay, and that brings up this special display here. This is a mixer for the track itself. And first go up to this drop down arrow here on the upper left. And now you get these three white bars. And as we play the clip, we can see that one phrase is here in the audio two mixer. And now let's go up to the very top of that. And there's a drop down arrow here that allows us to add an effect. I'm going to click on that and go down to reverb and select studio reverb. Now I'm going to double click where it says studio reverb here at the top. And that brings up a reverb editor. And I want to make a few adjustments here to really make a big splash of reverb for this one note. So the main thing I want to do is go to where it says decay and grab this slider and slide it all the way to the right. And I'm also going to grab the output level wet slider. And here we go. Crank that way up. And we have to do one thing more to make this reverb trail out beyond the end of the clip because there's nothing here for it to trail out on. So I can do that with a piece of black video. I'm just going to put that there and now we'll listen to that. Isn't that nice how it trails off? It sounds almost like that's the way the musicians played it. So this is a trick you can use, I wouldn't say anywhere during music, but if you choose a note or one phrase of music that sounds like it could be an ending, and then you add a splash of reverb to it, you can end a piece of music right there. Now, what if we wanted the reverb to fade out a little sooner? Well, we can do that by 
double clicking on the audio 2 area here and that opens up more displays and here you see a button that says show keyframes i'm going to drop this down and change it from clip keyframes to track keyframes and select volume that brings up a white line this is a rubber band and now i can make keyframes on that by holding down my command key there's a keyframe and here's another keyframe and now i can pull that down and now let's listen to that it doesn't trail off as long and you can control how soon you want it to go to silence so that's a neat technique, I encourage you to try it out for yourself.